And while the weather is turning colder, it also looks like China's beer market may be entering a cold winter. Carlsberg, the world's fourth largest brewer and the owner of Chongqing Brewery, recently announced that it would ex 2,000 staff worldwide by 2018 and close several factories in eastern China. The reason is the country's saturated and competitive beer market. Xu Wang reports from Shanghai. Not only Carlsberg, but the entire beer industry in China saw production drop for the first time in a decade last year, and the decline has carried over into this year. Qingdao beer, for example, showed a 5.5 percent decrease in its revenue in the first three quarters of the year, and Yanjin beer's revenue was also down 6.5 percent in the same period. The beer industry has seen 80 mergers and acquisitions take place in China since 2001, reducing market players from 1,000 to only about 20. The consumption of beer largely depends on catering, which needs very localized management. It is not easy for brewers to develop overseas and trans-regionally. They have to find good management talent and distribution channel partners. One of the main components in beer brewing is malt, which China meets by imports from Europe. Malt spoils after only three months in storage, and the price has risen by 40 percent in the last year. Some beer makers are now using alternative materials to lower cost, which may sacrifice taste. Younger consumers are also turning to other alcoholic drinks like premixed cocktails. The young generation of consumers is not satisfied anymore with draft beer. I can say that about 75 percent of beer produced in China is now being made lighter in taste, as beer makers lower their cost. And a lot of breweries are now making products just a bit higher than the requirement. They're not using 100 percent malt, but rice and corn to lower the cost. According to the China Alcoholic Drinks Association, the five major brewers in the country, Snow, Qingdao, AB, Yanjing, and Carlsberg, now account for nearly 80 percent of the total market. Each Chinese on average now consumes 34 liters beer every year, already higher than the world's annual average of 33 liters. The total beer consumption is now at a peak. The future is all about stabilizing the peak and preventing substantial drops. In the final analysis, what beer makers need to do is to upgrade their products to provide better consumption experiences. This is the key to success. Last year, China sold 50 billion liters of beer, accounting for 26 percent of global sales. However, it is estimated that the overall revenue of the country's beer market will decline by 8 percent by the end of this year. Xu Wan, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.